Hey everyone, it's Love Saloon here. Today I'm going to show you how to create my pretzel gram bracelet. This bracelet takes 162 bands total. And the breakdown of that is 47 of this pale pink. You'll need 44 of the red. 22 of this jelly turquoise in the center. And 46 of the solid turquoise right here. So in just a second, I will explain the loom and the setup and all that good stuff. But for now, let's get our bands ready and let's get started. To make this bracelet, you will need to have a total of eight bar pins. Um, the setup is four bar pins wide and you want them aligned. The next four are going to go directly in front of it where these blue bases are. If you're not sure how to set this up, I do have a video and I'll have that in the eye above or in the link below. So you can see how to get that set up. And for anyone wondering, this long purple base, I love these. They're really great for connecting multiple looms together. I got that on Rainbow Loom's website. So rainbowloom.com if you're looking for that. So the first bands that we're going to lay, you're going to want to decide whatever color you want to use where that pale pink color is. It looks almost white in the camera, but it's that one right there. And we're just going to need a couple of those for now, three to be exact. Of that color and we're going to start on the center right here and we're just going to lay it straight across and that's going to be for when we close it and then we'll lay another one straight next to it and on the left just like that now you're going to want to decide whatever color you want to use where my turquoise is right here and I am going to use this dark jelly purple. And we're going to lay that in the shape of an X on the center. So we'll start on this pin here and go diagonally to the right. And then we'll cross it and go diagonally to the left, making a center X. Now we're going to keep those bands there, but we also now need to choose our next color, which is the jelly um, turquoise in here, all up the center. And I'm going to use, I'm not sure what these are called. I got them in a mix pack at the craft store one day. But it has like a purpley teal or turquoise color. So we're just going to lay this band horizontally across the two centers on top of the X bands like that. And now we'll go back to the first color. Well, not the very first color, but the X color. And we're going to lay an X again. So where you, where you end at the horizontal band is where you start the next X. Just like that. And then we'll go back to that horizontal one. So after each X, you will lay a horizontal band on top. We're just going to keep alternating that up the loom. Okay, so I did change my camera angle a little if you're wondering what looks different. But we are just going to continue laying our X and then the horizontal all the way up. I think I just said that. So I actually lay a total of 23 X's and that gets me a, it's about um, seven and a half inch bracelet. So in case you're wondering how many you're going to need to lay. Now you do not lay a horizontal center band on the very last row, but I will show you that when I get there. I have been just super exhausted lately and trying to get these videos done for you guys. Um, but with Easter and 
I don't know if I told you guys in my last video, my dad had transfusions. And that's a whole week long process. And it's very exhausting for him, especially. Um, but I take care of him. So it was just a very exhausting week. But my son decided to stay the night at his mom's tonight. So I was like, you know what? I have to take advantage, even though I am super tired. I needed to have a video up for you guys. <laughs> so I am doing it. How was your guys' Easter? Did you guys have any plans? Do anything special? Have any nice dinners? We had a really nice ham. Actually, we had a, a nice spread. A lot of different stuff. My sister-in-law makes the best taco salad ever. Love it. This is actually my last X that I am laying right now. That's my 23rd. Um, so again, do not lay a horizontal band on that last one there. Um, but I would go through, take a second and push all of these X bands down. And then I'll tell you what we are going to lay next. So you're going to choose whatever color you want to use where my red is now. And I'm going to use red again. This part's really easy. So we're just going to lay horizontal bands on the sides now. So one band. And start on the second row. Not the first. Second row. Just like that. We'll do that all the way up. The only ones that we will not lay this on is the very last row. I find it easier to just go up one side than come back and do the left. But for the video, I am doing both sides at the same time. But you can do whatever's easier. Doesn't matter. So as you can see, the second to last one is where you will stop. Don't put anything here on the very end. So take a second and go through and push these down. Just worry about the outer part of the band. You don't have to worry about the inside. Um, but take a second, push those down, and I'll show you what we're going to do next. So we're going to go back to the first color that we laid right here at the beginning. It's my pale pink here. So go back to that. And we're just going to lay single chains going straight up both outer rows. So for this part, I will do one set at a time. 
starting right here on the corner and just going straight. When you get to this part right here, you can see my X is here, my last horizontal is here. We're just going to bring it diagonally in like that. And then we're going to repeat the exact same thing on the left side. Go straight up. And then once you reach the end, you'll bring it diagonally in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that really quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so you can go ahead and hit the pause button to catch up, or until you catch up, and then come back, and this is what it should look like at the end. So you're now going to turn your loom around, so the openings are facing you, and we're going to grab one more of that same color you just laid, so that we can put a cat band on the center here. So we're just going to wrap that around two times on that pin there, and then grab your hook. And we will stretch that over like that. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is go in and loop the horizontal bands that we laid on the center. So this band here. But we're going to be looping that band by going inside of these pins. We're going to loop the left side of it over to the right and the right side over to the left. So you can see it down in there. But again, we're going to be going inside the pin to do that. So I always go into the left side first. You're going to move this band out of the way. Once you move that top horizontal band, it will be the next one below for your hook to grab. And then you're going to bring that to the right and reattach it. Like so. And now you're going to go into this pin. And there's going to be two bands to now move. Grab the third one, which should be the same color of the band you just brought over. And now you'll bring that and attach that to the left pin. Just like that. So we're going to do that again to so come up to the second one. Push back the top band and grab the second. Make sure you're only grabbing one though it's easy to grab that X by accident. Cross it over to the right. Now go in the right. Move the two bands out of the way. Grab the next one. It's a little tricky because you want to grab that X band, but don't. <laughs> like so. So we're basically crossing them to the opposite pin. Cross that to the right. Go in. Cross that one to the left. So that's what it's looking like. We're just going to keep repeating this all the way up.
I've been finally working on some monster tail designs. I told you guys before I was trying to come up with new ones. And I have, I think I'm on three. I have three that I'm happy with. I'm always having like a lot of little pieces of ideas and things that I might like. Um, but I think I definitely have three that I've worked out enough to that to where I'm happy with them. So I'm going to try to mix it up. I don't want to do like all of the monster tail designs at once. So I'm going to try to trickle them in between my loom ones. But it's nice to switch it up. Now I just have to mess around on the hook. I've never been very good at making the hook only ones though. And I know I, I get comments every now and then asking for it. But other designers on Instagram would ask me to... Oh, I just lost that. Uh-oh. Well, I have to fix that. So I'm going to do it on camera in case that happens to you. So I have to remove this and this. And I'm going to remove that. Reattach it, remove that, reattach it, and now I'll reattach my side bands back on. That's actually never happened to me while making this before. But I guess it's good in case it happens to you, now you'll know how to fix it. Um, but what I was saying is designers on Instagram would message me. Or friends of mine that were on there as well would ask if I would do a tutorial for their hook designs. So all of the hook videos that I have are created by other designers who asked me to do the videos except for one. I came up with one and I was only able to come up with that from doing all of the other videos. It just gave me an idea of how to do it. But it's not my specialty. So anyway, I just finished my last one there. So now we are going to come all the way back to the beginning. And now we are going to work on the, I call them the border bands. Anytime I have a single chain on the top here, I call that the border. So I'm going to start on the left and only work on the left for now. So what we're going to do is go in the cat band here. You're going to grab the top band. And you're going to act like you're connecting it to the pin directly straight above it. But don't let go. You need to also connect it to the pin next to it. So it's wrapping around these two. So now we'll come into this corner pin here. Grab that band. You're going to act like you're connecting it diagonally to this pin here, but also to the one next to it. So always connecting it here and here. Just like that. You can also connect it straight first and then stretch it over and connect it to the right if that's easier. So you would go straight and then stretch it to the right. It doesn't matter which method you use as long as it's wrapping around both of those pins. I just find by doing it the first way, it helps it not twist as much. See how it's twisting there? I do try to avoid that because later we're going to be looping the top band. So if yours is twisting a lot, if you pull back like this before you go up, just pull back towards yourself and then go up and connect it. That does help with twisting.
So on this top one here, we are not going to connect it to both. You're just going to bring it forward. Just like that. And then we will repeat this on the right side. So come to this bottom corner. Grab the top band. Act like you're going to loop it straight or above it. And then also connect it to the pin it came from to the right. Diagonally up to the left and then also the one next to it. So I'm going to jump ahead and I'll be right back. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Um, since I jumped ahead, I am probably ahead of you. So just hit the pause button until you're caught up. Sometimes it's just easier for me to go off camera for certain sides. I like hold it on my lap or what have you. So anyway, so now we are going to come back down to the beginning. Okay, so it's feature me jumping in here. Um, you're going to see that my loom is now just this little loom. Um, you guys don't have to worry about anything. You're gonna continue on as normal and just follow what I'm doing. Um, but I finished the tutorial and realized that I actually looped my side wrong. I don't know how I made that mistake. So it did come out a little bit different. Um, so I, instead of redoing the whole thing, I just did half of the loom length um, but again, it won't affect anything you guys are doing. You just will continue to follow along. I just wanted to make it known why I only have this little piece of loom versus my big one now. Um, but we're going to just pick up right down here. We're done looping our borders. So now we're going to come down here to the beginning and loop the X band. So I'm going to start on the right pin here. Grab that X band and it's going to go diagonally to the right pin. And the left one will go to the left. It's a little wonky right there, but that's okay. So now we need to loop up and over the second band that's on this pin. And that includes the one that we just laid there. So this is the one I'll be referring to. It's the top border band right here. Because there's two of them there. Make sure you're grabbing the top one. You're just going to flip it over the pin like so. Come to the right side and do the same thing. Like that. So now we're going to come back into the same pin and we're going to loop up the horizontal band down here, the red one. So I'm going to go on the left side. It doesn't matter which side you start on, but I'll go on the left. Grab the bottom band on that pin, and that's just going to come to the pin above it. And then the right one will do the same. Grab the bottom band and just pull it up like so. We'll always start by looping the red or horizontal band, whatever color you used there. Mine is red. So we'll loop that forward, and then we'll come and do the X band. So come into the center here, and this first one's tight because there's so much going on right here. So just make sure you're pushing everything out of the way and only grabbing that X band. That's going to go to the same pin the red one did, going up diagonally to that pin there, and then we'll cross the left one to the left. Like that. 
Now we need to flip that border band over again. So from now on, it will be the third band down, including the band we put there. So the purple is the first, the red is the second, and this one right here will be the third, which is what we are flipping over. We'll come to the right and repeat that same thing. Like that. So we'll do that all over again. So we start with the side horizontal band. So push in, grab the very bottom, pull that straight up. Do the same on the left one. We need to come back here and loop the X band. That goes to the same pin that the red band went to. And now we flip up the border band. And if you need to push it down a little like that, it makes it a little easier to grab. Now you can actually work up one side at a time if you find it's easier. I don't know what you guys is, you know, might prefer to do both sides at the same time, but you could just go like this, loop up that, come here, loop up your X, and then flip it. Go back in here, loop that forward, come back to this X, loop that up and flip it so that might be easier it is for me um, but it's up to you just make sure if you do it this way you don't forget to restart right there when you come back to the left Good old train is going by. I feel like every video I do, a train wants to go by. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear it, though. Yeah, I realized my bracelet, when I pulled it off, the sides weren't laying right. And I'm like, what is going on here? And then I was editing the video... And I realized, oh, I looped it wrong. And it's late right now. But I was like, oh, I gotta go fix it. <laughs> so, sorry about that. Well, you guys, I mean, it doesn't affect you guys. But instead of seeing a full bracelet, you're only going to see a little piece when I take this off. So, that's the only bummer. Now, the only thing I do want to say... And I'm probably way ahead of you because I only did this little section. Um, when you reach the top up here, this is the only time you will not loop up the border up and over. Like the light pink right here. So after you bring the X band up to that corner, you're just going to go in and bring that bottom band in like that to the center. Now I'm going to come back to the left and finish my left side. So I stopped right here. So that's where I'm going to pick back up. And I will start by looping the horizontal red forward. And then I'll come back down here to my X. That goes diagonal. And now I will flip the third band over. So hopefully by doing it this way, 
one side at a time. Hopefully that's not confusing anyone. For the video's sake especially, it's just a lot easier to do one side at a time instead of trying to toggle, you know, back and forth. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, got to do my border. And I'm on my last one. And just like the right side, do not flip up the border band on that top one. You're just going to grab the bottom band that's in there and bring it in. So on this top one, this is where we are going to grab the bottom and bring the ends together to attach our C-clip. Now for this one, I do recommend using the hook to release it, to release all of the sides. And then once you have all the sides released and the top released with your hook, you can pull up the center. So I'll show you my piece once I get it off of the loom. Alrighty. So there is my little piece of my pretzel gram bracelet. And just to show you the difference, here is the one that I messed up on and had to redo because I looped the sides wrong. But you see how the, the swirl on this is like nice and tight? And this one, it just laid a little funky. So I knew I messed up. And then the little wing bands right here were tucked under the red and they're not supposed to be. So anyway... I certainly still hope you guys enjoyed my pretzel gram tutorial. If you do make this, please tag me on Instagram under Love Saloon. I'd really love to see your renditions. And I apologize for the little tiny mistake that I did make, um, but it should not have affected you guys at all. If you have any problems at all, leave a comment down below. I'm always checking them out. Um, but thank you so much, guys. I will see you very soon at my next video. Thank you. Bye.